Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can create a menu system to create a flight control. So therefore, the user will be able to make some selections once the drone's in the air. And what we might do is get the drone to rotate 180 degrees clockwise and also 180 degrees anti-clockwise. And then if they select, say, the number three, we'll get the drone to land. So let's get underway. So when you look at my base code, I've got some comments at the top here and developer comments, and also we've imported the Tello package at the moment. So the very first thing we need to do is get the drone to take off. So we need to start communicating with the drone. So we need to tell the drone to start. And now we're talking to the drone and we need to tell it to take off. Now the drone will be in the air at the moment. So what we wanna do is present the user with some options. So we're gonna use the print statement. And we're going to put it in here, flight controls. Now at the moment, it doesn't look all that interesting. So I'm just going to add a few little text graphics in there. This stuff looks a little interesting. Now, once we've presented the user with the menu, we then want to give them some options. So we're going to go print, but I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use three quotes. So they're like triple quotes. This is pre-formatted text and the computer will lay out anything between these three start quotes and the three end quotes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat and pinch these little options. And I'm just going to remove the little hash symbols at the front because that will stop my drone from or the program from running. I'm going to highlight them all and then just tab them in. So they're not hard up against the border here. So this will present the user with some information. So what we want to do after we run the program, eventually we want to land. So I'm just going to put land in there at the moment. And I'm going to connect to my drone and just to have a look at my program working. So we'll right mouse click and go run flight controls. Now the drone's taken off. You can see that we've got a menu system. And what we need to do now is actually ask the user to enter in an option here. So what I'd like to do is take in an instruction. So I'm going to create a variable called user instruction. And that's going to be equal to the input from the keyboard. And I'm going to ask the enter drone instruction number so they'll enter in the number the number then will be stored in user instruction now when we enter in a number from the keyboard it's going to come through as a string so what i want to do with the input is i want to turn it into an integer so take the string input and type cast that to an integer so it's a number so if they enter in one and press enter it turns it to the number one now, once I've got that instruction set, I then need to um, have a look at what instruction they put in. So I'm going to use an if statement because we an if statement will give us a comparison. And we can say that if user input or user instruction is equal, equal to. Now, an assignment means put this in this. When you've got two equals, you say, are these the same? So I'm going to say that is the user instruction one, if it is, colon, enter I can then do something so what I want to do is uh, rotate clockwise for 180 degrees so to do that I need to tell the the drone to rotate clockwise which is clockwise and then you got degrees and then I can put in 180 all right and then once it's done that the drone can then land so let's run our program now and see how it goes now the drone's taken off It's hovering. I'm going to enter in an instruction now. Click and press 1 and press enter. The drone is now rotating 180 degrees. And now it lands. Excellent. So let's get it to see if I enter in number 2. So if I haven't entered in 1, I can then go else. If the user, so else, if user instruction is two so i'm just going to copy this down is this time the number two 
So if it is the number two, we want to rotate anti-clockwise. So I'm going to press enter. Just move that down, press enter here. And then I want to go anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise and I'll go 180 degrees. And then I can have one more. I can say, well, if it's not that, I could then go else. If the instruction is a three this time, and it's a number three, then I would like the drone to land. But I'm also gonna put another else clause in here that basically says if it's not a one, two or three, if it's none of those things, I want it to land. So if they type anything else in, so if they put a word, if they type number five, it's going to land the drone. So let's see if our menu system's working and I can get the drone to rotate both ways and then land. Let's hit play on our program. The drone's taken off. It's now hovering in the air. It's asked me what would I like to do. I would now go number two. It's now rotating the opposite direction to 180 degrees. And then we'll land again. Excellent. So the last one I need to do is take off and land. So let's run the program one more time. Once it's hovering, I'm going to tell it to land by pushing three. And the drone lands. Now, if I want to keep running this instruction set until it's finished, I need to put this all in a loop. So what I need to do is come back up to the top and after the takeoff, I then need to go while user instruction is not equal to three, do the following thing. So, and because all this has to reside inside the while loop, I'm just gonna go all the way down to the end of the program and push tab. So now all that code sits inside this while user instruction. Now it doesn't know what user instruction is at the moment, so I need to set user instruction. So up the top here, I need to go user instruction is equal to zero. So because it's zero here, um, so we put zero in the user instruction, while user instruction is not equal to three, because it's zero, it's not equal to three, so it's gonna run this code. It's gonna go through, show us the menu. We should be able to rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise. But if we enter a three, it stores that, and next time it goes back up, it goes, while user instruction is not three, well, it is three, Make sure you land and the program ends. So let's test our program now. Here's our instruction. Let's rotate clockwise. So one, the drone is rotating clockwise. And then ask it again. So this time two will go any clockwise. And then the final instruction is to land the drone, push three, and the drone lands and that's it. So there you go. In this program, we've created a simple menu system and flight control instructions. So if you liked the tutorial, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember to give it a thumbs up to keep the videos going. And I wish you all the best in your Tillo drone coding.